gaz. Çoldur oldu. Rüdü seçin ya. Oo. Oo. Managed to fool one of those bigger bank feeding grunters to eating a prawn. Oh. Um, I'm catching quite a few, so I'm guessing this one at about two and a half kilos, maybe three kilos, could be a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so it's a little 1 demon circle with a one eighth ounce piece of lead in a normal running sinker system. Um, I'm fishing with 10 pound nanofill on the 2000 Sargus and the five foot Berkeley cherry wood. Um, this is the same setup that landed that, that very big grunter I got on Tuesday. That grunter came in at a good 4.8 to 5.2, somewhere around there. We didn't um, actually weigh it, um, but it was a giant. Maybe if we post this video, we'll post a picture of the of the giant from Tuesday. Um, this fish is carrying a bit of weight, so I'm thinking we could be onto a, another fairly large fish here suddenly. Not happy with the boat. So the tide has just turned. Um, it's pushing. I'm about six or seven kilometers from the Crom River mouth um, on a bank that I've been wanting to target and give it a try for quite a while now. Got a light east wind blowing, which means it blows in the same direction as the pushing tide, which allows you to do a nice even drift and present that um, present that bait as naturally as possible. Oh, got some really big, big fish tailing behind me, so they don't seem to be too phased by this uh, fish putting up such a great tussle. Ooh. Yeah, two and a half to three kilos. Just, uh, just saw him. Good fish. Really fun, <laughs> fun on the light tackle. We'll get him to boat too. I don't have a net or anything. I've got a gaff, but I don't use the gaff on these big guys. I like to let them go. Um, <laughs> to fight another day. Yo, so, yeah, he's coming up to the boat. Let's see if I can get a hand on him without hurting him. Oh, he is not ready yet. But a good, good grunter nonetheless. Really good fish or, or any type of fishing. Yeah, he's a big boy. Come on, big fella. Goodness gracious. Really, really good fish. Uh, 0.4010. Oh, <laughs> Long line release. He's gone. He popped off right at the boat. But anyway, you saw the fight. It was great fun. Okay, so I went and had some lunch. And I'm back. Oh, as you can hear. You can feel by the sort of the size of the head nod, etc., that this is probably a smaller fish of that two kilogram size uh, he's also holding on that shallow bank um, and he's not coming off into the deep water like you're more experienced fish do i'll show you guys where i'm fishing yeah so if you get an idea of where i am and what it looks like um, yeah so He's holding on that shallow bank, which tells me either one is a big old experienced bugger, which I doubt, or he's a bit of a juvie that's comfortable in that shallower water, which he really shouldn't be. Um, you see, now he's turning and he's running. He's 
running onto the ship, onto into the deeper water. Oh. Now you see that very distinctive fast nod nod when he's fighting. Tells me he's a smaller fish. That's his head moving left and right very quickly. So uh, be lucky if we can clock the two kilos on this fish. Feisty nonetheless, and the water's warm, so they really shouldn't be very warm. Um, yeah, 2.2 kilos maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, once again, the Berkeley Cherrywood 5 foot ultra light spinning with the Pen Sargus 2000, 10 pound nanofill, quarter ounce. Sinker on a running sinker system with a 1 0 eagle claw circle hook um, and a mud prawn. Actually, use the dead mud prawn because I didn't want to use the fresh, the fresh mud prawn because I've only got five prawns. So, we'll see if we can make it five for five. It's very odd, he came right up to the surface now and splashed around in the deep water, which is just odd. Yeah. Oh, what is going on today, chaps? That's another one lost. I mean, what is going on? So the tide has just turned. Um, it's pushing, I'm about six or seven kilometers from the Crom River mouth. Um, on a bank that I've been wanting to target and give it a try for quite a while now. Got a light east wind blowing, which means it blows in the same direction as the pushing tide, which allows you to do a nice even drift and present that um, present that bait as naturally as possible. Oh, got some really big, big fish tailing behind me. So they don't seem to be too phased by this... Uh, Fish putting up such a great tassel. Ooh. Yeah, two and a half to three kilos. Just uh, just saw him. Good fish. Really fun, <laughs> fun on the light tackle. Get him to boats here. I don't have a net or anything. I've got a gaff, but I don't use the gaff on these big guys. I like to let them go um, to fight another day. Yo, so, yeah, he's coming up to the boat. Let's see if I can get a hand on him without hurting him. Oh, he is not ready yet. But a good, good grunter nonetheless. Really good fish. Sure. Or any type of fishing. Yeah, he's a big boy. Come on, big fella. Goodness gracious. A really, really good fish. Uh, 0.4010. Oh, <laughs> Long line release. He's gone. He popped off right at the boat. But anyway, you saw the fight. It was great fun. Well, got another. Once again, he seems to be holding to the bank, so for more money on small, not taking a lot of line, but one kilo on the drag. Yeah, there's little rod movements, I can tell me he hasn't got a big head, otherwise he'd be swimming like this with a bigger movement. bigger ones on this bank here but there's so many of the smaller ones now it almost seems like the bigger fish hang on this bank on the lower the tide whereas the smaller fish come in when the water's deeper I don't know maybe the depth gives them security from the fish eagles quite a lot of fish eagles here
Yeah, one kilo fish, half a kilo, one kilo, somewhere there, maybe. One of them fellas. That one of nice in the corner. Remember guys, watch his gill plates here. Razor sharp. Oh, oh, he's having a chat, he's not happy. What is it with you guys diving onto the deck? Don't be silly. Oh, you silly fish. Oh, and he's stuck with the holes. Anyway, I'm gonna let that little fella go. Thanks for watching.